today's video, you will try to move back in time and learn how to perform the basic operations in an abacus, the very first calculator of our ancestors. To begin with, we assign the different place values on each layer of the abacus, from ones, tens, hundreds, and the maximum up to billions, depending on the requirement of the given problem to be solved. It depends also on the operations to be used. We'll start with the simple addition, 17 plus 8. First, you have to have the 17 one tens and seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have to add eight beads again. One, two, three. We trade this ten with a te one tens. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And we count the total number now. Two tens beads and five ones beads. Total of 25. So now we'll try to have this in bigger numbers adding 353 and 179 first we have to position 350 and three ones and we have to add 179 so one bead we have to add on the hundreds place seven beads on the tens place one two three four Five, trade this with one hundred bead. Continue counting. Six, seven, and then nine, nine ones beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Trade with one tens, and continue counting. Eight, nine. So. We got 532 as the sum. Next, we'll try to subtract some numbers. For example, 555. 555. Five beats, five beats on each layer. And we have to deduct. 126 from this so one bead I removed from the hundreds place two beads on the tens place and six beads on the ones place but since I only have five we have to return six ah, so not return but we have to take out six so I have to take out first the five and trade this back with the tens so return the ten once then I have to take out the sixth one so count the total number on the right side we have 420 and 9 now we'll try multiplication we'll start with a simple single digit by single digit with this case we'll have we'll, ha we'll have to use two layers one on top and one on bottom since this is single digit we'll assign one digit on top five and one digit on the bottom 7 so the first 7 we have already at the bottom the first set of 7 the next set we have to add 7 again 10 trade with the 10 then continue counting 4 5 6 7 Second set third set add 7 1 2 3 4 Five, six. Trade this back with a ten speed. Seven. The third set. Then on top the fourth set. Add seven again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the fifth one. Fifth seven. One, two. Trade this with a ten speed. Then three, four, five, six, seven. Count the total numbers of beads. Thirty, 
and 535 simple now we'll try to test this with the bigger numbers 123 so I'll put the bigger numbers at the bottom hundreds place 20 tens place and 3 ones place then 6 First set is already at the bottom position, 123. Second set, I have to add 123. Third set, 123. Fourth set, 120. I run out of the ones place. Trade this back with the tens. And continue counting 1 and 2. Fifth, 100, I run out of 10th place, try this with 100 beads, 20, then 3, then the 6th one, 120, and 3, so the answer is total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 30, and 8. Now we're down to the final operation. We'll try the simple division. 10 divided by 3. We'll put 10 on top. And we have to group this by 3's. 1, 3, 2, 3's, 3, 3's. And there's a remainder of 1. So the answer is 3 remainder 1. So now let's have... 225 let's divide this by 5 so we'll group the above beads into 5 that's the first 5 trade this with the tens bead and second 5 then the third 5 then again we run out of ones Trade this with the tens. Another five, the fourth one, and the fifth one. So now we're out of the ones and the tens. We have the hundreds now. Trade this with the tens. So now instead of going back and forth with the ones and the tens and the ones and the tens, we can have the five tens and have the one tens on the bottom. Five tens on top. One tens at the bottom. Another hundred trade with the tens. Five tens on top. One tens at the bottom. Five tens on top. One tens at the bottom. Total of forty five. So two hundred twenty five over five is forty five. So that's the end of this exercise using the abacus the above operational problems can be solved in milliseconds using the modern calculator but let's not forget that the basic counting principles of the old age is the main foundation of all the fast calculating devices in this modern generation